Hello, everyone. This is Joel back with you again from the Eve Geek podcast. So I wanted to kind of hop on today and give you an update on the Hyundai Kia Tesla Supercharger Access. So last week um, on January 15th, I came out to this supercharger station here in Conway, Arkansas, uh, to test out if you could actually get a Kia to charge at a supercharger station that didn't have a magic ma magic dock. The only thing that I was going to use is my Max adapter here from a lot from Electron. So, um, found out from a couple other YouTubers that you were able to trick your car into thinking it was a Hyundai. So you go into the Tesla app and you put what car you're trying to charge. Uh, at that time, I put 22 Ion Hyundai Ionic 5 because at that time I heard those cars could charge. Uh, put that car information into the Tesla app, um, plugged in my adapter, and was able to charge at a Tesla supercharger like that. Posted the video, got great feedback. However, I noticed in the last couple of days in the comments section of that video, and if you want to watch that video, I'll put a description um, in the show notes. Um, a lot of people were posting, I can't get it to work. I did what you said. I can't get it to work. I don't know what's going on. So it made me wonder, did Tesla do something to work around this to where you couldn't charge your Kia or Hyundai at the Tesla supercharger station? We all knew that, that, that Kia and Hyundai are on the same platform. Um, Basically, the, the the technology is the same in the cars, uh, very similar to like, you know, a Chevy and a Cadillac, you know, EV. So um, I decided I need to come out here and test this myself again to see if that's actually true. So we are back here at the Conway Supercharger Station here in Arkansas. I'm going to hop out here. It is a brisk uh, uh, 35 degrees outside. I'm going to hop out. I'm going to get the adapter connected. I'm going to pull up the app. I'm going to choose the stall that I'm at. And we're going to see if, in fact, Tesla did remove the workaround that you could use to get your key in to charge at a supercharger access, a uh, supercharger station, sorry. So let's go out and see what happens. All right, just like before, at the Tesla supercharger station, have my NAX adapter plugged in. Last time I did this, no issues. We're going to see if that has changed. So we're going to plug in. We are plugged in. Let's go and see what happens inside the car. And as you can see, nothing. So. Also, if I look at my Tesla app here, it is saying generating a charging summary, even though I am plugged in and charging. All right, so as you can see, a week ago, I was at the exact same location and it worked no problems. Come back out now and Tesla has done something to disable Kias and from what I hear, Hyundai's as well from charging in the supercharger network. You know, we originally told January 15th, which is why I came out here and tested it, heard from some other YouTubers that if you, you know, identify your key as a Hyundai, it will get it to work, which I, it did work. You can see that other video. I did get it to work, but I came out here a week later because I heard those grumblings that, Hey, it's not working. So I say, Hey, I need to test this out for myself. So it does not work. So evidently Tesla was able to do something to not allow that access anymore. It has something to do with the VIN numbers, I'm sure, and things like that. But when it does work, we will come back out. We will do another video to double check it and we'll record that for you. So until then, we'll see you on another episode of the EV Geek Podcast.